I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. That, that means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. If there is a way to take the wonder out of space, it was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for, timetables down to the second, too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Not directly. And I'd tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Yeah, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was Done. That should have been the end. But that's when the Rangers showed up. It just felt right. Like this. This is what I was meant to be. And I was young, no care in the world. 
I thought, <laughs> what, there's only seven of you? I like those odds. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't flinch from living life on the edge a little. Anyway, and then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The Rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. That, uh... Well, that. But the thing that scares me... is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me... I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else. And I really need to own that. And have a tough talk with Lillian. Tell her about that follow through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. Space is so hostile to humanity already, and you made it just a little bit safer for everybody. No matter what you could have done differently, this will impact a lot of lives eventually. We'll have to mark it in the Constellation history books so we don't forget it when the Turimarfs are finally gone. So humble, too. People love that. Squeak! Balancing risk versus reward is tricky. Even more so when so much hangs in the balance. So, you really think the Asilis are going to work out, huh? You must have seen some data that I didn't. They're reliable as I think what you're trying to say. And yeah, I get where you're coming from. By sealing the Lazarus plant away instead of destroying it, I'm worried we've made things riskier. Maybe we can study it, fair, but it will take a long time to get any actionable results. Yes? Right. No worries. Gave up my room in the lodge so Andresia had a place to call her own. 
Everyone needs space to let their thoughts run solo. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. I'll hold on to these charts until you're ready then. Looking to do some more drift? No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Good luck out there on the fringe. Found one. Easy as a needle in this stack. Hope those powers you're getting to overinflate you. Got enough eagles in Constellation. Struts primed, retros firing. Two of us make quite the pair, eh? Hello. Ahoy, Captain! I hope you're having a good day.
Stuck in the same place. Guess we're done.